being woken for prayers in the middle of the night and then going back to sleep again gives the whole thing a sort of dreamlike quality. But stepping outside my room this morning into the cold, crisp air, hearing the bird song, it's just the most serene, beautiful place. I love it. Also, one of the prettiest trips I've ever taken to go and brush my teeth. What an amazing experience. I managed to stay with an hour and a half of prayers in the middle of the night. I can still smell the incense in the air. I wish this could record the smell. Just having a lazy hike around Matka Canyon and trying to work out what to do next. I do still want to go to Greece, which is one week into their three week lockdown. The decision point though is just 250 kilometers away in the southwest corner of Bulgaria. That's the one open Greek border crossing. So I've been planning another couple of weeks of cycling in Macedonia, going back through the center, seeing some mon monasteries, but I now know it to be very icy and consequently a bit dangerous. So do I hang out and hope that a Greek lockdown lifts in two weeks? Or do I continue directly through Bulgaria? I would then have to cross Bulgaria to Turkey. Now Bulgaria is very mountainous, up to 2,000 meters. So do I go that way, direct to Turkey, or do I hang out and hope that the Greek lockdown lifts? Tell me what to do. Well, this is a bit of a culture shock. Woke up in a monastery, and now I'm cycling along a bike path along the river through the centre of Skopje. Cyclists, runners, outdoor gym. Wow, big city. Just 10 k's down the road from a quiet canyon monastery. Skopje, wow. This is the weirdest feeling. It's like weird London. I've been coming along a meandering river like the Thames with sort of London-ish looking buildings, big fountain, like a Cutty Sark looking boat over here. Plus the imitation lamppost, the statues, and I even saw a double-decker bus. I feel very strange. I've come in that episode of Red Dwarf where they land in weird London. Freaky!